Greetings from the biggest and best maritime college in all of America. <laughs> and we also happen to be the greenest. All of my students study math and science. More than half of them are engineers. 100% of them are steeped in maritime tradition and actually know the pointy end from the round end. <laughs> and while all of them get jobs immediately after graduation around the world, whether it be Singapore to Spain, this opportunity right here in Falmouth gives them the chance to parlay their education and their maritime skills in our backyard here on Cape Cod. So I couldn't be happier. From a longtime resident of the Cape, I'm also really pleased that we're hosting the largest and first American offshore wind farm. Um, I happen to have a wind turbine on my campus, and it's there as a result of a meeting with Jim Gordon some years ago when uh, he offered to help us establish renewable energy courses on campus. And I said, thank you, we already have them, but I would love a wind turbine. Will you put one out? <laughs> And he declined, uh, so I went out and we got one on our own. And I will tell you that as taxpayers, and I'm one also, that wind turbine has saved us a quarter of a million dollars in taxes every year that we don't pay to NSTAR, because it has yanked electricity out of the air and delivered it to my students. It has made more than a million kilowatt hours of electricity every year. So 100% of my students have studied and lived under that wind turbine and have come to appreciate the opportunity here on the Cape for a free natural resource that with technology and foresight we can press into service and when you have a thousand mostly male adolescents who leave the lights on in their computers, electricity can be expensive. <laughs> so I'm really happy that they're located right here in our backyard. Congratulations, Jim.